Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and welcome also to CC the test serve for EVE Online because in today's video I want to talk a little bit about the plant changes for the agency and the journal and things like that. So CCB is planning to update the agency window in the January release. That stuff is uh, starting to come out on CC and it's ready for us to test. So let's definitely take a look at that. Let's undock here and then let's see what CCP has cooked up for us when it comes to the agency window. So it's right here, the agency, you open this up and uh, I think we might be familiar with it already. Although personally, I have to be honest, I don't use the agency too much on TQ, except for something like this, the UL uh, Yaul Festival, I think it's pronounced, uh, is active on TQ uh, right now. I think it was like active for 20 days, you need 400 points. And uh, I do use the agency quite often to track my progress there, to see what the rewards are, and to basically plan my activities when it comes to these recurring events. Um, that have a limited time span and where you basically have to earn the points in order to unlock all of these uh, rewards. I like how it's casual, how it's uh, pretty easy to, to get into um, and feasible. You don't need to grind for hours every single day of the event in order to be able to uh, unlock the final reward for that. And so this is basically my main use on TQ for the agency window are these recurring events. But CCP is planning to change things and the um, big change is of course that they're adding lots of content from EVE Online in uh, the agency here. So we've got Pirate Strongholds, not sure if that's new and there are none available in the filters at the moment. Might be something completely new as well. Uh, you've got the Career Agents, so this is actually very handy, especially for newer players, but also for players that are looking to uh, get some reputation with some of the factions. This is an incredibly good way to do that uh, for very little effort. Those Career Agents can give you a massive boost in reputation uh, with uh, with the race that uh, that you're working for there. So this is very nice and it's showing you all those that are available uh, through New Eden. Very nice. Um, you've got Faction Warfare. I think that's new and uh, this looks very, very cool. So you've got all of these low sex systems where the fights are happening. This is, for instance, between Galente and Kaldari. Very nice for people that want to do Faction Warfare or that want to explore these low sex systems. I think that's for me personally, I'm not using this because I, I don't want to risk the reputation of uh, my main character and I want to keep uh, all of Heisek available to me. So I'm never going to put him in a faction. Uh, but these low sex systems are often seen as great places to look for fights, even if you're a neutral. And uh, so, yeah, showing that up on the map and, and adding that to the agency, I think is very cool. Uh, you've got the incursions. I really like this uh, actually. Um, having checked all of this out a little bit, I noticed that there is basically a tab in the journal at the moment on TQ where you can find all of the incursions. Having that in the agency here I think is very cool. So you can clearly see where the Sancha are uh, active and where you could go and, and work with an organized group of course on fighting back these incursions. All information is here. And then when you click on those, can you see? Yeah, you can actually get that uh, information window. I like this aspect of the agency uh, personally. You've got the resource wars, of course. We, uh, we know these by now. I don't run them all that often. Um, I think basically the reward scheme is, is not correct there. I think that that's, that's a big problem and I haven't heard from the player base basically that this has been addressed. Uh, because well, you, you get tech one stuff and it's way overpriced in order to actually get it. So uh, at the moment I've not delved into resource wars too much. Epic arcs, that is actually in the agency already. But uh, it again shows you stuff to do in EVE Online. So very cool. Uh, I would personally like to see this expanded. Maybe some sort of, uh, of smaller arcs uh, that, that you could jump into. Maybe arcs that would pop up here and there. That would for instance evolve the drifters. Where you would have to look for stuff to do. That could be very cool. Um, I, I think that there is lots of potential here to provide cool PvE content uh, when it comes to epic arcs, but also maybe different types of arcs. Then of course you've got the signatures, which is only within your own system. 
Um, and then you've got the asteroid belts if you want to go do mining. Although I think that when it comes to mining, most people mine close to their home base. Um, sites that is, I think, so signatures and anomalies basically, which is all uh, again only for local. And then very importantly, here are the agents. And this is something that is going to be different from TQ. Normally in business on the Neocom, you'll have the agent finder. That's going to be removed from the game and the agent finder is basically uh, put in the agency window itself here. So you could uh, look, for instance, if you want to go for Amar and then you want to very specifically work for the Amar Navy. You want to do, rather than do security missions, you want to do some distribution missions because those are pretty easy to do. There you go. You've got your level three or any level distribution agents for um, for for this specific corporation. You can also do any corp and then you've got all the Amar ones that are are they the, those that are available to you? Hmm, that, that is one filter that is missing here. I would like to see uh, those that available and then all of them. I think that's actually pretty important because the way I look at that is it gives you an option to find a hub where you could work on your rep and actually then find lots of missions nearby to do. So I would definitely like to see an available filter here on the uh, on the agent finder but that's one of the big changes is that ccp is actively putting more stuff in the agency and that they're also incorporating the agent finder in the agency window so uh, a little bit of feedback on that i think that there's basically uh, the good and the bad here the good personally i like the idea of the agent uh, agency window i like uh, the centralized place that shows stuff to do in new eden especially when you uh, have this map here and, and you press on the incursions you know oh look at that there's incursions happening in Nausic as well happening all over the place faction warfare honestly I think that this looks very cool there you go you've got the Caldari Galente fight happening uh, very nice uh, to see that maybe if we could also see the Amar Minmatar ones uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is based on uh, but this looks very cool and the agency is definitely becoming the window that shows you that there is lots of stuff to do in New Eden there's lots of content for you to go after if you want to enjoy that and uh, I, I like the idea of, of this I, I see lots of potential for very cool stuff when it comes to the agency now the one thing that I've, I've seen people complain about a little bit uh, in the comments on on the tester feedback forums and I actually have to agree with that is the problem lies in the usability of the window at the moment it is so big uh, the smallest you can make it is like this nobody is going to keep this open at most I feel you're going to check this if you're looking for some ver something very specific set a destination and then close that again which I think is actually quite a shame uh, I usually just keep it on suggested and the only reason and the only uh, times that I open up the agency window on TQ at the moment is when there is one of these uh, events happening uh, with a limited time span these recurring events so that I can track my progress and basically plan my playtime a little bit around this I know well 400 points I've got 20 days I just earned 60 because I got a little bit lucky with running a couple of sites very quickly after one another okay I could I could try to do the same tomorrow or I could take uh, it, it a little bit slower tomorrow and, and do something else in the meantime so that is what I use this for the agency window but for all the rest well no I would rather um, be uh, near to my home base first of all right accessibility is very important and then I would maybe mine usually explore a bit maybe look for a wormhole do a quick dive something like that is, is mostly how I try to find my content in EVE Online and the usability here nobody is going to keep this window open um, and so I feel like that is really hurting the agency at the moment and so the way I would fix that is you would just compare that to the probe scanner the probe scanner is what I'm using when I'm exploring in EVE Online it's this window right here and uh, you when you click on that you've got the uh, the local map and so I think you can also anchor this uh, this window although I'm not I don't even want to do I don't understand why you would want to do that but I feel like this is the perfect setup and you can see that this is not 
if you put it like this and then you extend this like that you basically have the agency window so this i feel would be uh the the uh, one big change that ccp should consider for the agency window that is to allow us to let's go like this have a more compact list of stuff to do and have us uh, this be potentially a separate window so that we could keep this in here out you could incorporate the probe scanner in there as well in my opinion and then you could have one button here for the solar system map and one button here for the agency map which would open up the whole thing and that is something that i would use but have this this list this agency the content that the agency shows you is there in new eden uh, make it in such a format that people can incorporate that into their active UIs even when they're flying uh, I think would be a, a massive improvement and I would use that I would definitely try to have that open then just so that I can see well something pops up nearby a nice resource war site well there you go I know that then that there there is a tier one or a tier two that I could do on my own uh, that just popped up just like I jump from system to system looking for stuff to do on the probe scanner. I can see which signatures are there. I can see which anomalies are there. And on the overview, you've got the beacons, you've got the swarm sites, stuff like that. Um, so I think that is a, a usability that is missing from the agency that CCP should look into. And it's, of course, all of this, it looks nice i would say but it looks very big very clunky right this is lots of real estate for just one item whereas on a signature that's just one nice neat line you should be able to make that a little bit smaller and more compact and especially here this information window i mean keep it as a pop-up sure but these icons are just way too big they take way too much space all of this takes way too much space um and uh, and and that is i think where ccp actually needs to work on the agency if they want to make that a real success uh, make that a bit more usable and i would love to see this list maybe with the filter as well as a separate window just like the probe scanner is a separate window and then just have this button so that blah, there you go you've you've got the whole agency with all the details if you want to and then you do that away and uh, you've got your list so you can fly around do the things you normally do uh, but also have the agency potentially show you other interesting stuff to do so i like where it is going i like the philosophy of the agency i like a one place showing lots of stuff to do in eve online uh, just needs to improve on the usability in my opinion anyways that's going to be it for this one then guys thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time